Comeback, Love and Hip Hop, Season 8, Love and Hip Hop New York, Season 8, <clears throat> Episode 7, called Slippin'. Alright. So you got <clears throat> Remy and Mariah. I probably should, like, I don't really want to bring the camera down too much. I got a lot of shit on my bed. I don't want y'all to see all the shit that's on my I got clothes on, on my bed. Hey, we, we, we family, then we family. But, um, <clears throat> Mariah's working on her mixtape. Uh, she has no features. Remy stops by because she, Remy's like, we work in the same studio, but we've never, like, met up or whatever in the studio. And <clears throat> Mariah Land was like, self had asked me if there was any artist I would want to work with. It would actually be you, Remy's floor, and Remy like, I got time. <laughs> then when she said, I got time, maybe they go, uh, you know, today I got time because I will put it in here, but. I ain't got time for all that motherfucking editing the videos shit because it's fucking 7, 12 at night. And I still got one, like four more reviews to do. Got to edit this shit. I ain't got time for all this damn man. I love y'all, but uh, I got shit to do. I got an early day tomorrow and shit. And then <clears throat> I'm going out with a friend tomorrow to a Christmas market, you know, in the afternoon. And they give me some glue vine. I ain't never, I, I've actually had it once, but I've never had it in the elements. And, you know, glue vine is like a hot wine. And they give it to you because they want you to get drunk so you can sit there and buy more shit. I know the game. <clears throat> but um, Remy pretty much tells her, well, actually, she says to Remy that, you know, she's thinking about undergoing cosmetic surgery because there's, like, this template of what the female rapper should look like. And she tells her that you need to go for that sleek, you know, uh, rich white girl lane. Like, that needs to be your lane, a.k.a. stick, you know, stop trying I ain't gonna say it, but y'all know what she was trying to say. And pretty much just saying, it's like, you know, you can be that. Like, you can be the glam white girl. You know, even though she's Puerto Rican. I believe she's Puerto Rican and white. But it's just like, stop trying to be something that you're not. You don't have to have the cornrows and all the shit. Just, just don't do it. And she says that she's been thinking about changing herself. More or less just her tits. And Remy's just like, you know what? If... You're doing it because you want to do it. I will co-sign it. And she even says, like, you know, there's people saying a lot of shit about me, me being a gorilla, this, that, and the third. But if I let what they say get to me, like, I'll be curled up in the corner right now. So good advice. <clears throat> Jacquey meets with Pat Poof. Long story short, they he rehashed his shit with Sophia, got bodies. And it is what the fuck it is. And I used to Rich. Rich is questioning her about why is her phone going off when it's supposed to be his time. She asked him. If he wants um, her to get a divorce, his whole thing is that ain't got shit to do with me. That's all you. He says that uh, he ain't married, so he don't owe. What the fuck? Why my thing keep going up? I'm telling you, this is some shit. You know, let, let me put this shit on fucking airplane mode. Because this shit keep, I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't know what it is. Anyway, <clears throat> what the fuck was I saying? Cause that shit just threw me all the way the fuck off. Anyway, and she asked him if my husband, you know, were to step to you to fight you, what you gonna do? And he's like, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. Safari and so, Safari talks about how he couldn't look at his mother uh, during the funeral and whatnot because of the hurt and whatnot. And I know the feeling, like, when I lost my cousin Yolanda, that was the sister that I never had, even though I actually have two sisters, and I only met one of the two within, like, the last, I wanna say, what, three years? But <clears throat> before that, she was a sister that I never had, and that was the door that my mother always wanted that my mother never had. So at the funeral, like, it was one of those where, my, it, like, I was hurt, my mother was hurt, and it was one of those where it was hard to see it, but my mother and I, we actually, like, held each other and cried in each other's arms, but I can kind of feel what he said, which is like, you don't want to look to see that, but, so I know the feeling, you know. And so says that he lost his mom, like, you know, 10 years ago, so he knows the hurt, <clears throat> he knows the feeling. But what he learned from that is, you know, keep going. And it's hurting him to know that Safari, you know, has not, it's not at odds with his mother, but it's kind of like a little off with it. And he even says, you know, channel this into the music. Later on, Safari does do a performance. That's all I'm going to say about that. <clears throat> and he's in the viral. He tells her that uh, he has a video director uh, for her video that uh, she's trying to do. And also... Uh, invites her to uh, a building name, and like they're like in, I think he said New Jersey. They're naming the building after him. Kudos to him. <clears throat> and Aisha feels that you know Aisha is jealous of her. I don't really 
everything. So what the fuck ever. Uh, Jaquay and Sophia, she apologizes to him for what she did, but she also wants an apology from him. She gives him a gift because she wasn't able to give it to him for his birthday due to uh, the spat that they had. And he pretty much told her, like, get that shit to James. Don't give me that shit. And, you know, she feels kind of way. She's like, I'm Sophia the body. I get what I want, all this other shit. Fuck her. <clears throat> I run through the, I, I swear, I know I run through this for you. And what the fuck it is. I'm sorry. All right, so Aisha um, meets with uh, Navarro. Long story short, she wants him to fire her sister. Because since they're partners, it is his job to fucking do so. <clears throat> but what I will say is if your sister is not doing what she needs to do, you probably should be a sister and contact your sister. And I'm only saying, nope, nope, not going to do that. It's the same about me. Moving forward. <laughs> Jaquay, Self, Snoop, and Rich meet up, um, and, you know, Jaquay's had to share his shit with the family. I was trying to figure out what the fuck that hat was. I ain't gonna touch it. But that's when Rich called her Sophia Got Bodies. Mar Mariah Lynn, she gets her boot job. It's what it is. Now, James and Sophia, so... Sophia comes to his house being all dramatic, saying... The dog is sick. It ate a penny. They had to give him three shots. And I know he looks okay now, but and it's all put on. And my thing is, if you are Sophia Body, Sophia the Body, if you got all these connects, you a DJ, all this other shit, why the fuck you be sitting here living with another nigga? Whatever. James R. I'm sorry. She says that Jaquay kicked her and the dog out. And I knew about Halloween. when he said, another man's garbage is, is another man's trash. And she's like, I'm not garbage. <laughs> but she didn't refute it too much because she needed the motherfucker to play the state. He said he's going to take care of her dog. He ain't nothing but a dumb nigga, but he trying to get his rocks off, whatever. And the building name and Rich and I used together, Navarro sees it. He's like, oh, fuck it. It ain't this some shit. Now, Aisha rolls up to talk to Navarro, and I forget exactly what Anais said, but Aisha was just like, oh, have you been drinking this and third? And, <clears throat> you, <laughs> and it was at that point that Anais like, you know what? Mm, she kind of bowed out. She walked away just enough, but she was still air hustling. And uh, you see uh, Navarro and Aisha having a little conversation about you know firing a sister so ashley walks out <laughs> and i he's walked so it's like uh do you know they over here talking about fire <laughs> and both everybody face that shit was funny and even though it was messy i understood what and i used did because it's like okay you want to sit here and talk shit bad i'm gonna give it back to you as she gets mad she quit and the shit that threw me is you know, Aisha pretty much says to Navarro, okay, you need to fix this or we're done. I'm not, we're not working together. And I'm just like, what? I was confused. Maybe it wasn't meant for me to fucking understand. So that's it. That's all. Housewives of Atlanta next. Rate, comment, subscribe, share. Peace.